But new Oh, there we you're go. still muted, I think. This is the third time I did that. Whoops. <laughs> it's just a staple. It's a staple to the show now. Thank you, Evie Fun, for pointing that out. Uh, it ain't a stream if it doesn't have any scuff. Exact exactly. Some scuff is okay. I also have my son with me, so if you hear a little bit of cooing, that's uh that's him. Um, he just decided special to guest. Special guest. I'm not a special guest. I'm not a special guest. It's uh, Bubble Chap's son. That's yes, special Bubble guest. Boy. That's his name. We have a little Bubble Boy. Bubble here. Boy. Yeah. A bubble Boy is a special guest. His uh, his mom's on his way home uh, from getting the uh, the second COVID shot. So that's all right. We could just have him chill on my lap for a little bit. He's a well fed boy. Anyway, so uh, welcome everyone. For, uh, thank you for coming to the show. Today we have a very special guest. Uh, she is an artist. She is working on a comic right now, and she is also a Twitch streamer and plays a lot of really cool and fun games. Please, everyone, welcome Minty Cups. Yeah. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Just... I meant to spin. There you go! Yay! <laughs> Celebratory spin. How are you doing today, Minty Cups? Yeah. I'm alive. You're alive? I mean... And live on, that's a good on the Bubble Chap channel. <laughs> alive on the Bubble Chap channel. Spin of happy, yes. Very spin. Yeah. Very much spin of happy. Woo! Very nice. So, uh, you're an artist. <laughs> you draw. You, do, you you put the pen on the pencil and, well, more, more likely the, the, the stylus on the screen, right? More, more potato, like, tomato. Potato, tomato, correct. Uh, what got you into art? Everyone's got a different story to that. So, how did you get to how did you get to drawing? I have ADHD and I'm distracted in class a lot, so I just doodled. Gotcha. Okay. And it just went from there. So, what did you start doodling? Like, I know that some people they were drawing like uh, Sonic, uh, like concept art and stuff like that. How did you get uh... to start drawing? Like, what inspired you? And that's a difficult question. I guess the earliest things I've drawn were like me at like fucking seven years old, just really? like drawing Mario. Okay, that works. It's 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 weird to say that because I'm a huge fan of Sonic and I just grew up with Mario somehow. Okay, most people did. That's that's a pretty safe assumption. But if but uh, I know that you're a big Sonic fan. Is that correct? Oh, yeah, massive. Okay, we'll have to get more into that uh, later on. We got a special little little game thing that we're yeah. gonna be doing. It's gonna be fun. Looking forward to that. So, uh, so, but you're also a Twitch streamer. So you do a lot of art, but you you uh, you know you stream on Twitch. Like, what kind of games do you like to play? What do you like to do as a? Oh, sorry. What kind of content do you like to put on your your stream? I like nostalgic games, honestly. Nostalgic. Okay. Like. That's something I just I like in, in this exact moment I realize about what I like to stream. I like mm -hmm. nostalgic stuff. Nostalgic like if stuff. I think about it. So nostalgic for you is like, like, like late. Night JBA, stuff. GameCube. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, like recently I played Kirby. Uh, uh, Kirby Nightmare Dreamland. Kirby. That was Nightmare great. Dreamland. Yeah, the GBA cool. remake of the first NES game. Okay. So a lot of that was like, great. GBA games. That's fun. That's fun. So you're also playing for some of play... the right? Yeah, I'm also playing that at the moment. It's great. I think I'm almost done with it though. Okay. It's sad because fucking hell, that's a good game. I know it's a very, very long game. Is it's that, is, it's worth it's worth just... uh, going through it. It's just one of those things it's one of those games that like I hear so much about and I know there's like there's five of them now. So like it's like I got I feel like I gotta get on it. Person in the series you can play in everyone, any order. Everyone say it's hi to really... Megan. Everyone say hi to my wife. Hello. Hello, Bubble Wife. 
they say hi, Bubble Wife. Hi. Uh, she's going to take uh, the sun off my hands. Thank you so much, babe. I appreciate it. Love you. Yeah. All right. Hope she takes her uh, COVID shot well. Oh yeah, hopefully, hopefully, because I, I know by day two I was very much uh, a little fatigued from it. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. So anyway, so we got uh. So you started with art and you started doing uh, Twitch streams and you stream a lot of your own art on your on your Twitch, right? Yes. Yeah. That's how I actually started streaming. My uh, my stream, my entire streaming was just an excuse to motivate me to just draw more. Okay. That's how it started, and at one point I was like exhausted from art because I spent like a week straight drawing stuff. Okay. I was like, gotcha. no, fuck it. I'm not. I'm not streaming art this week. I'm gonna play a game. That game was Persona Four. Gotcha. So th so you were doing art first, and then you kind of you know, naturally went to games as well on your, your spare time. Yeah, at first I was like, no, I'm never playing games on my channel, that's not a thing. Gotcha. But then I got, I, I made so much art in one go, I was like, I'm kind of burnt out, I need something else. Mm. So I saw you were playing, went, what was it, Portal? It looked like, like another Portal game. But... Ah, right. Uh, that was Portal Reloaded. That, Portal 2 is one of my favorite games of all time, actually. As a, it is a very big one that everyone has on their Steam, uh, that their Steam game list for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that game so much. So cool, it's cool. We we've got some art here. We can just go ahead and uh, transfer over. Oh, yeah, to talk that. about the art. Yeah, let's talk about the art. Uh, transition. Hello. Hello. Uh oh. What is going? Uh oh. What's going on here? Oh wait. Stream scar. There we go. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the bottom here. We got, uh, oh, and we got, you know, it can't be a proper bubble chap uh, stream without duper being mentioned. So this is actually a gender bent <laughs> duper here. We got our, our llama buddy. Um, how did this art come about? Did they request it or did you just do it for fun? I did it for fun because, uh, you know, Vox, who was on the show previously also, mm -hmm. Also drew Duper as a human, but oh, okay. as a, a, a guy, obviously. Okay. And was like, you know how Vox said has the thing where they, they switch their character to be female and male sometimes? Yeah. yeah. And ever since that, I've been just like making a joke of the gender fluid. Gotcha. Gender fluid Duper. So, yeah. The d okay. Duper that has the gender fluid. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Uh, we also got so like the red. Oh, sorry. The what? red hair is purely just because uh -huh. Rama one half. You know the anime where the the character like gets thrown water on and be go goes the other gender and stuff. Oh, okay. So the water. F the sorry, uh, Squid said uh, the gender fluid as an actual fluid that Duper drank. Oh, I see. The <laughs> the gender drink, gender fluid drink. I see. The drink for the gender. Yeah, the drink for the gender. Uh, let's see. What else do we got here? We got, uh... Oh yeah, we got your, we got your character here. So you, you are, uh, an animated, uh, deer character. And that deer yeah. character is named Cream, correct? Yes. Not a lot of people call me Cream, but that's okay. There we go. So, uh, this is a pretty, pretty extravagant piece of art done with Cream. Uh, is yes. this your concept art, or was this just something you were doing no. fun? No. This is for ex for fun, but also a bit of a, I guess, homage, you could say, to my favorite Sonic game, Sonic oh. Riders. Oh, is that where the wings come from? No, the wings is just something my character can do. Okay. Don't gotcha. don't, don't worry about it. Don't you're, ask about it. You're doing the you, the pose, though. The pose is, is coming from a Sonic game, right? No, the, it's actually the shading style that's come from oh, the, the Sonic shading. Riders game. Okay, let's like yeah, the, the like hard the hard shading like that that's, that comes from that game. Okay, so it's always like amazed me. Gotcha. So okay. like, yeah, I just I just like that game a lot. Gotcha. We'll we'll get definitely into more Sonic later on. We got plenty of time to do that. So we have uh, more rando outfits. This is super cute. I like this. You got some winter clothes here. You also got some skater look, um, which I know that you just started skateboarding yourself, right? Yeah, uh, I I've, like my entire life I've been I've wanted to skate, never mm -hmm. had the option. 
Then in my adult life, I went like to a thrift store and I just went, oh shit, that's a skateboard <laughs> for gotcha. 15 bucks. That's a good price. I'm going to buy it. You uh, better late than never, right? You're never too old to uh, get on a pair of wheels, I would say. No, oh, yeah, never. All right. Just so... be careful and wear equipment if you're not uh, comfortable yes, with safety, it. You know? Safety first, wear a hard hat and everything. So, sorry, a helmet, not a hard hat. That's for construction. You're not constructing anything when you're skateboarding. I mean, uh, you can build the skateboard, I guess. That is true. If you build a skateboard, you, you have to wear a hard hat. It's very dangerous work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little hard to wear uh, helmets or any hats of any kind with these uh, sticks on my head. Oh, yeah, for sure. Look, look, the, the sticks on your head. You're just going to have to cut big holes in your helmet and everything. Yeah, it's a little hard. Uh, Eevee Fun says, uh, actually, the Tacon Time animators did the Sonic Riders opening animation. Wow. Yeah, small... that's correct. That's it's, a small uh... world. I don't remember the studio's name, but they did work on that also later on. Okay. I'm not too familiar with uh, Attack on Titan. I know of it, like, of course. But I didn't know that they did uh, some Sonic stuff. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they did the Sonic Riders opening and nothing else Sonic related. <laughs> gotcha. They they just did their work by yeah, making... Yeah, Production IG. Production IG. That's the studio. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, thank you, Squid. Thank you, Squid. Well, hello, Squid. It's good to have uh, some fact checkers in the, in the chat today. Let's see. What else do we got here? Uh, oh, we got your, your emotes. So we got Cream yeah, peeking emo. around, okay, and we also got... Uh, yeah, I just like peek emotes because they're just like kind of cute. It's just yeah. like, oh, hello, here I am. Like a little, like, little peek oh. action with VTubers as well, that would be fun. We got... Uh, yeah, you're showing an example there, just... Oh. And then we got blushing, of course, always got to have a blush. I think we talked about this yeah. in my last stream, I need to have a blush button, that would be adorable. <laughs> We got some love. We got a nice little heart, little surprise love. You see the exclamation mark. This just means. Oh, uh, actually, that's something funny about that one. That's mm -hmm. that, that. I would consider that my pog emote. Your pog emote. Okay. Can you yeah. can you enlighten me a little bit about what it means? Like what, what like pog? Like that is a sort of it's a... a moment of excitement. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So just like y you know, like... When, you know when something exciting happens, and you just like open mouth going woo. Oh, okay. That's the that's the pog. Yeah, that's pogging. Is that that's is, pogging? Is it an anagram for something? P O G? Uh, no. Actually, you might you might that might be a. Uh, I don't know how old you are, but that might be something you knew. You know, like the pogs, the little circle things that you like, play with. Oh, you, those little pieces of cardboard back in the day. Yeah, the context of where that email comes from is it was like about that. Oh, that's so that's why it's called a pog. Okay. All right. That's a weird, like, retro thing to call back onto to bring it into the new age of this Twitch streaming. Yeah, uh, yeah the name now. of it refers to the person who made the face originally, who was playing with Pogs. So they named oh. it the Pog Face and then it became Poggers. And gotcha. Okay, just a natural history. progression. That's cool. This Twitter, or not Twitter, uh, Twitch history. Yeah, Squid, Squid knows more about that. Squid says uh, it originated with a video about Pogs where Gutex pulled an open mouth face that for a long time was the default pog emote until he pulled a racism and twitch removed it well, we, we don't like it when people pull racisms but it's good that the pog thing was left behind with the racism not attached yeah that the, the action of it is very much detached from the person who did it gotcha as most it is are. very much just now a cultural a culture thing okay gotcha we got some more here we got some more emotes we have a uh, head pet it's always adorable to see head pet I love making head pad emotes. Head pads. Also, you might notice the hand on that. That's one of my characters. Yeah, uh, that's the uh, uh, that's the shark. That's the shark right? one. Gotcha. Yeah, that's that's Gary. Gotcha. We'll, we'll get I like to... making the head pad hands just be actual uh, other people. Uh huh. So that people can get their references and stuff. Yeah. All right, and we're gonna do struggle. Ooh, looks like they got uh, like a hit with like a Pokemon ability. That's what a struggle. Yeah, ability. because. I struggle a lot with a lot of things. <laughs> oh, and my wife uh, just joined the chat. Says BB Peach, please head pets me, bubs. I would love to head pets you, my baby. That's I'll just, cute. I'm gonna have to interview her sometime. Uh, you guys would love her. She's really fun. Eevee fun will head pet yeah. you. So anyway, the struggle. It's, yeah, the struggle is just like, you know, 
as a reaction to uh, ah struggle moment. <laughs> struggle moment and uh, Squid. I I am I am having the struggle. Uh, Squid uh, pointed out uh, you struggled getting this interview until uh, Squid said, "Heck, you! I'll do it myself." Yeah, you know, deer in the headlights. So uh, think scared, everyone scared, thinks Squid to do for things. Yeah, everyone thanks Squid for setting up this interview with Minty Cups. Yeah. I'll Great. I'm happy to be here. Say, say, ready? There we go. Congratulations. Thank you, Squid. I don't know if Squid is, is a good thing to call you. Is is that what only Squids can call other Squids or something like that? Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> A squid can call another squid squiddy, but when other people call him squiddy, you know. Anyway. Okay, and, we, and we got a bonk. This is a very unique bonk. Ah, yes, that's my tier 3 emote for a special reason. For, yes, I don't like bonk. when people give me money. So really? I bonk them. You that's the reward for, for tier really? 3 sub. Interesting. Yeah, that's the reward for tier 3 sub. I bonk them because... Fuck okay. you. No, you don't give me money. Okay. You take care of yourself first. Put yourself first before a fucking Twitch subscription. What the wrong with you? I can understand that. Yeah, when it comes to Twitch, like it used to be a very fascinating concept to me of like people giving money to like people online just for playing a game, right? Obviously, that's like the most like surface level thing that Twitch is. Yeah, but I just I just see it as like support people. Exactly. Exactly. That's I, the idea. Just supporting I, I like, people. I like doing that too to some of my friends as well. It's always it just kind of creates a good vibe in the room. Yeah. All right. So we got the bonk. Okay. And then, and I think that's it for the emotes. But right here we have your skateboard, and there's some there's some mm, art. That's the picture of my real life skateboard. Yeah, we got some art here, and uh, someone here looks very familiar. Stickers. We were just talking yeah. about dupe just appearing out of nowhere. So you got uh, Bimo yeah. from Adventure Time. Were these uh, Bimo is very special to me. Bimo special to you. So wait, so all of these stickers were they all added by you? Yeah, I put them on there. Gotcha. You got the Sonic one there. How come Bimo is uh, special to you? Adventure Time is a, sh a show that stuck around with me for a long time. Mm -hmm. For 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 a large portion of my time as an artist. Okay. I actually like tried to emulate the art style of Adventure Time. I was like very gotcha. much inspired by that show for a long time. Gotcha. I can totally tell. It's just from, like, a good. It's a good. It's a good cartoon. Yeah, the I know that. Uh, unfortunately, that's something that I I, I definitely felt the influence of. I, I couldn't watch it myself. Um, but yeah, the, the, everyone loved it, and I love watching clips from it every once in a while. And I recognize Bimo for sure because just that's how. Influential. Bimo's iconic. Better. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Iconic. Everyone from Adventure Time is absolutely iconic, but like being all especially to me is just special because mm -hmm. I, I don't know, I just I just have a connection with the character like emotionally. Gotcha. Then we got uh So we actually have your one of your first examples of your very first art. Um this is a Oh, God. oh yeah, we're we're going there. Uh this is my little pony uh, piece of art. Is this a, a, a original character that you created? Yeah, this used to be how I presented online. Gotcha. Okay. And I was a pony artist. A pony artist? That, isn't that... Probably in 2013? 2013? That was pretty much the Something year. like that. So you were considered what they would call a Pegasister, right? Ah. No? Is that... Is that, is ah. that no? No bueno? Sorry, sorry, I am cringing at myself. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I mean, you know, I, I actually had a, a, a good friend that was that considered himself a brony, and I, I had to ask him. I was like, "What's like the female version?" And he was just into like pick a sister. And I was like, "All right." Nobody used that. Nobody used. Nobody that. used that. So just my friend was just <laughs> wrong. Gotcha. Yeah, among the female viewers, nobody used it. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Well then, <laughs> at I least will... at least in my social circles, nobody liked it. Gotcha. I will erase that from my memory and my vocabulary. Um, your friend was correct, but nobody used it. Gotcha. Okay. I can understand that. Um, let's see. Next one right here. I'm trying. Okay. So this is a, another original character of yours getting away from the pony aspect. This kind of reminds yeah, me of some, another character of yours that we're going to see later on. Uh, that might be the same character, actually. It might be that's, the same character. Uh, Cup yeah, that's Cupcat. That's the earliest doodle of Cupcat I've okay. done. 
Cupcat. So uh, this is one of the characters in your comic that you're developing, right? Yeah, this is the main girl. Gotcha. The main, the main character, the protagonist. Yeah. Okay. So not only have you done a lot of art, but you've done some logo work, and here we have um, oh yeah, like a Sonic project. So this was a fan game, right? Correct. Yeah, this is a fan game. Uh, Sonic Project Hero. You did uh, the uh, like the heads up display and and the logo for that, right? Yeah, I'm very proud of my work for that. Unfortunately, the game has gone with a different uh, art direction. Okay. Which I unfortunately don't have a lot of inspiration for, so I haven't done anything. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I that sucks that's that they're okay. not using your art, but it's cool that uh, you're able to do it. And uh... no, no, it's a personal choice. I didn't want to. Like, gotcha. Oh, okay. I didn't get any inspiration, so I went. I'm out. Yeah. I'm out for this. Someone else can take over. Uh, that's okay. okay. Gotcha. Sounds good to me. Well, uh, is how long is that project coming along? Are you still keeping in contact with them about it? Oh yeah, I'm definitely in contact with that. I'm actually a moderator on the public server for that fan game. Okay, gotcha. We'll have to it has about out. like 4,000 members on it. It's crazy. Nice. Let's just hope it doesn't get too crazy so that way uh, Sega doesn't come and axe it. That would be no boy. Oh, actually Sega's fine with that. As long oh, as really? people don't make money with it, it's fine okay. with Sega. Kind of that's like, like how... a, that's like That's like a baseline understanding okay. be between Sega of America and the fans. Okay. Is that... Don't step on their toes, don't make money off it, and then you're safe. Gotcha. Okay. That's why That's why Sega of America like doesn't take down anything. Okay. That's actually really reassuring and really nice. I like it when a company does that. Yeah, Sega does, but Nintendo don't. Yeah, you know? Sega, yeah that is true. Uh, Nintendo will uh, sue you and steal all of your assets and take your home and do everything. Of course, that's an exaggeration. They would not take all of your assets, just 90% of them. Uh, let's see. <laughs> All right, so next up we have. Um, so this is uh, your Sonic character, your OC character, right? Yeah, that's my Sonic OC. This their is name Peach. is Peach, and okay. how do, a little how do you, gremlin that lives in the forest. Who? How do you develop like a Sonic original character? Is is it just? It, it, does every big Sonic fan sort of come up with it themselves? Is there like a template? Like how does it work? Can you just do whatever you want, honestly? Really? Depends how the person that wants to go about it. Okay, and you have the ability to just completely realize the character with with your art skills for sure. Well, actually, I had help with this one because I had like trouble figuring out how to do the the design correctly. Okay, gotcha. Were so just... I had some help with that, but aside from that, this is just this is just a little gremlin. Okay, well, it was really cute. I like it, and uh, the name is Peach, right? Yeah. Okay. It would be cool if you were able to like make this in like a Sonic RPG or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? A Sonic RPG. Would you think that would ever happen? That's already happened. Has it? Am I? Yeah, Sonic Chronicles on the DS. Oh, okay. I'm not too familiar with the, with the Sonic franchise, unfortunately. But I thought I heard everything until now. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Yeah, that's not a game people like too much. <laughs> ah, okay. Not a very popular thing. Sarpy. Yeah. Sarpg, there we go. So next we have, uh, so you, so here you have, we kind of see some behind the scenes stuff when it comes to your work. Um, so this character is Nia, and Nia Karun, you and, know, like a macaron. Oh, ma ma <laughs> so yeah, you you have you have a very food based, like you know, aesthetic, right? Because we were talking about a yeah. cup cup uh, the cupcake, the cup kitty, right? Cupcat. Cupcat, correct. So we have Cupcat. It has, it has a, a rhythm to it. Cupcat. Exactly. And then now we have a Nia Carone, so for like macarons. And here you're like, yeah. you're drawing her in multiple different like clothing options and outfits. And is this this is sort of like a... like a. This is a guide for me how to gotcha. like do it. Okay. So you're but just... like without the clothes so I can like have a good look at what her body shape is in general. Okay. And this is for your... Like, Some to... notes everywhere. Right. Yeah. Reference sheet. That's another gotcha. word for reference it. Reference sheet. That's a good. That's a good word. Good. To, good couple of words. But yeah. So you use this to sort of reference when you're making your comic, so that way you can keep a visual consistency, right? Yeah. Gotcha. And we got the next one right here. We have Poppy. This is Poppy right here. Um, is this Poppy uh, Parker? Poppy Parker. This one is not necessarily based on any food in particular, right? You She's based on waffles. Well, based on waffles. Gotcha. I don't. I don't draw it. 
all the time, but her shirt is supposed to be a uh, flannel. Oh. And that's that's the that's the waffle theme, and okay. her body is supposed to be like the batter. Oh, okay. and her hair is supposed to be the maple syrup. Gotcha. Okay, so that makes sense. That would be really. And also really cute. waffles, like waff 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 waff. Okay. Puppy, like puppy. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's, it's like a dog and a waffle mixed together. I see. Yeah, dog waffle. Gotcha. And I think we have we have a, another we have a cups reference right here. Um, this one is a little bit more yeah. realized. This is, it's come a very, very much a long way since the uh, one of your first the first drawings. drawing, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you you kept with like the the minty hair, the mint blue. Yeah. Um, and it's cupcakes and a cat mixed together. Yeah, a lot of things that you have are like. So do you, do you usually marry a lot of animals with food as well? Yeah, it's a, gotcha. it's a good way to make a theme for a character. Yeah, it, as I, you can. I can understand that. Yeah. A big thing with her character designs, I wanted to hide like hearts around her. So like, as you can see, like her hair has like a little tuft at the top. That's okay. that's a heart. Oh, she has okay. a little fluff in her ears. That's hearts. The giant like blob. That's her. Okay. The, that's the back of the hair. That's another heart. Gotcha. So you just like put in little tiny. Um references to like hearts and stuff like that just to kind of you you really do... she's full of love ah that's adorable that is so cute i really like how you she likes she likes to hug people oh so there's like so obviously this is you're developing the lore for these characters as well for your comic and uh um, yeah. gotcha and how long have you been working on this comic i think i've started work uh, i've had like the idea of it back in fuck how 2016, 2015, something oh, like that. Oh, really? Gotcha. So almost like yeah. six, seven years at this point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So like concept at that point, and then you started drawing just recently, right? I didn't start drawing it recently. I've been like doodling the characters for ages, but... Gotcha. I've so... really hit like a consistency with them recently. Gotcha. So they're just currently in the uh, pre-production concept phase then? Oh, absolutely. Gotcha. So then uh, let's move on. We got Geary. This was the head pat that you were uh, discussing earlier. So this I guess is everyone a, loves Geary. A non-binary shark. Uh, and this is a background Geary. character, I guess you could say. As a you can see, they also have the uh, the uh, work attire mm -hmm. that Poppy and Kapia does. That's because they okay. work at the same place gotcha. in a diner. Okay. So then this, this character will just kind of like pop in and say hi and which you've already yeah, put Poppy, so much Poppy and Cupcat. In. Poppy and Cupcat are uh, the waitresses. Oh, okay. This shark is the uh, this shark is at the back flipping burgers and stuff. Gotcha. Well, you... I see your wife likes. Uh, oh shark. yeah, my wife loves sharks. She loves sharks. I think she told me one day when she passes away. If she were to pass away before me, she would want me to feed her to sharks, feed her body to sharks. So that's a nice little fun thing about my wife. But she loves sharks. Huh. <laughs> we went to uh, the aquarium the other day, and uh, she was trying to find the sharks. And unfortunately, the aquarium there didn't have super cool sharks. But yeah, she loves sharks. Amazing. Lore, lore about my wife. Um, Let's see. Or about your wife, she wants to be eaten by sharks. That's yes, good to know. that's true. <laughs> Not like while she's alive. That would be that would be gruesome. And we have uh, Marble here. Oh, that's the sister of the of Cupcat. Gotcha, sister of Cupcat. And I see you're trying to experiment with sort of the the, the hair here, um, giving her different streaks of color. Um, and then you settled for sort of like a cream, uh, tan color, right? Yeah. But actually, those like little drawing, those uh, little things on the corner, was just like a reminder to me that as she grew up, she liked to like experiment with it. Oh, okay. So it's just sort of like as you're reading the comic, you can sort of see the span of time depending on the color of her hair. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Like in her teen years, she's like embarrassed by being like uh, having like streaks of different colors everywhere because gotcha. that's not really a regular, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, then we uh, we also got a lot of different body types here. So you know she's a little bit more athletic, and 
We got uh, the non-binary uh, Geary Shark here. Um, Geary's very tall. Geary is very nearly tall. six foot tall. I mean, sharks are pretty big, so oh, and that that tail's got to kind of get in the way of things, I would think. Nah, they make they make use of it. They 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 make it work. I see. In this in this world of um, animal foods, you know, ta big giant tails are just part of life. I yeah. Wish that, I wish that was like how life was. Um, I mean, they can use it as like just a mm -hmm. furred arm of sorts. Gotcha. For for they can use a tail as an arm. I mean, pretty articulated and stuff. That would be very interesting to see is sort of like a world with almost like a third arm. They just use their tails very much naturally as part of their movement and stuff. That would be cute. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, animals use their tails for balance and such. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Then we got the... So here we got some actual concept art of the, uh, of the comic that you're working on. And I see you got... I guess you could say that's concept art, yeah. It's it, so concept art. Is this just sort of you practicing with the? Uh, like the yeah, style? that's me. Like the, this, the goal of that series of drawings with the backgrounds was just me like trying to improve how I draw backgrounds. Okay, you got because I don't of... want my characters to be in a void when I draw the comic. You know. Gotcha. Um, my persona is a golden retriever. Is that true? I don't. I don't really have a persona. I never really considered myself one of those types of people. Um, but yeah, uh, Gary and Marble are friends. Okay. Yeah, they're they're like workout buddies. That's where they're. Oh. Okay. They're both like in good shape, and they just work out together. Gotcha. And, and I also see, Gary uh, has. That's the longboard Gary has. Oh, with the with a jellyfish on it. Yeah. That's adorable. And um. Once again, we got, just, we got another duper reference here. We got Toasty in the background. Yeah. I just felt like putting a poster down. I was like, you know what? Toasty would fit right in there. We are all excited for Toasty, and one day it will get released. One day. Yeah. And it's going to be great. So I see in the background here, you got like, you, you kind of got like a soft focus, uh, almost camera like quality, right? Using yeah, I tried, to, I tried to play around with like uh, blur and whatnot gives it a little, a little bit more texture to it i see yeah i see the way that you uh, you shade your characters where like you, you you make the initial harsh shading and then you like you you uh you rub it out like you you you, you blur it out as you can see from the scale yeah. here you spend a lot depth of time field. doing depth it too field. yeah depth of field yeah that too yeah the depth of field effect um evie says i've never played a 2d zelda games but toasty is going to be the one i'll play 100 percent you should as you should um toasty is yeah definitely... super dupers work exactly super super dupers the dev team and are not indie games they slap mm -hmm. totally uh looks like a zelda game yes you are correct it is a very much is very much inspired by a zelda game anyway back to uh, minty cups's art here so so they're just hanging out at the mall or that's really cute. And we got another one right here. We got Mia. She's just chilling on her phone, just hanging ah, out. Ah, yes. That's actually the diner of the comic in the background. Oh, okay. Right there. So th this is where uh, most of the characters work then. Yeah, and her, mm -hmm. she hangs out there a lot. Okay. So she, that's how is she is a bit these. of a key character in the story. A key character in the story. Okay. You, you wouldn't be able and to She's reveal. the one that makes, that will make things happen will make things happen yeah because okay. she's a no-nonsense get things done kind of kind of character okay i get you i get you and then we got the last one right here sorry about the sound the uh the, the door is open and some dude decided to race down the street here um we got a Neon. we got uh <laughs> don't worry that was just zami that was just a mixy people who uh know my pe uh, people who <laughs> <laughs> oh zami Gotcha. I mean, yeah. So then, uh, this is your character, uh... The, the, yeah, this is Cupcat and Cupcat Poppy. And Poppy. So are these sort of the two characters that you're going to be pre presenting the most? Yeah, those are the protagonists, yeah. Okay, so... The story is about them and their relationship. So it's, a, like, a romantic, um, story about, you know... How yeah, it's a romance story about two idiots who can't communicate too well. Oh, okay. That sounds... That sounds pretty relatable, actually. Yeah, they're just like childhood friends who fell in love with each other very early, but haven't realized it. Really? 
One of them has, but she's too shy to really say it. And the other one okay. doesn't really catch on to like antic interest. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So you've sort of you've married these animals and these and these uh, all you know this food based um, style. It's more it's more of a theme than anything like concrete in the world. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I think it's a wonderful mix of things put together. I think it sounds super cute and fun. And we, I think I'm safe to say that we're all waiting for you to make this comic and, and make it into reality. So, uh, you know. If you want a fun fact about Cupcat, the reason uh, why she's named Cup in uh, in universe is because when she was a baby, she fit in a cup. You see, you just keep adding more and more adorable things to this, and I want to read it. You know, no no rush or anything, but I think you should have this finished by, like, two days from now. Is that even possible? <laughs> no? God, I wish. God, I wish. Oh, man. Uh, do you have, like, maybe a time frame to where maybe you can get, like, the first issue out? I hope at least by next year I have something out. Gotcha. Okay. And how many, like, are you trying to make it, like, a long series? I know you have the first chapter. You're working on the first chapter. Uh, do you want yeah them to i have i have good long? ideas for what to do for the first chapter okay. i have some ideas of what i might want to do for a second chapter gotcha okay so you you're just kind of going along as it goes you did but you definitely know what the ending is for for this yeah i have specific endings an ending for like the first chapter in mind specifically but the second one i don't know yet gotcha it might pop in mind as i work on the first first one okay okay well that's all the art that we have for us uh right now um we do have some clips though we have some clips from your uh your twitch stream let's go ahead and uh explain this one really quick this is the uh let me turn the music down actually okay might be a little loud actually let me just go ahead and turn this down there we go this is the persona 4 oh, it was a beetle Ah, oh, yeah, that one's very funny. And then the beetle just dies. <laughs> watch out, that one's really strong. And yeah, watch out, that beetle's super strong. And then it's just, it's dead. Gotcha. <laughs> your your, la your oh. laugh says it all. It says it all. And then we also got another clip right here. Also, out of frame on that clip, there's Squid. Oh. You heard her on the, the clip itself. Oh, ah. yeah, Squid was on that clip right there. <laughs> Well, this one right here, I think you got surprised by the game because the game paused on you. Yeah, the game paused for a moment. I was like, what? What's happening? And then just like suddenly I saw just the, the open. Gotcha. I didn't get scared. I got surprised and that so, made me jump. Oh, okay. Not scared, surprised. I understand. Yeah, I jump easily at anything. Gotcha. Well, that's that's very cute. Did you did we talk about how you came up with your uh, your deer character here? Well, see him a deer in the headlights a lot of the time. You're a deer in the headlights. And that's... Yeah. Is you that... know, the expression. Yes, is that sort of a play on words of, like, your head in the clouds? No, in the sense of frozen in fear. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you don't seem to be frozen in fear right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh wait, I think I just did it. it uh, I think I just activated it. It ha it happens. Okay. I it happens more than than it shows. So so was it like an inside joke with your friends, and then you decided to really personify it with this two D VTuber? You're also the first two D VTuber that I that I have on as a guest, and there's something about two yeah. D VTubers that are really really charming. Um, and I'm not biased by that at all. <laughs> <laughs> um. So like I, I think Trudy and Trudy both have like their their strands. Mm -hmm. They're both wonderful. But like your character is like uh, let's see if we can get a little bit a little bit closer to your face there. But um, there's a lot of elements going on in play because you know you have like a 3D character that you you rig, but with this 2D here, like you have to make the hair separately, you have to make the eyes separately, and then you have to rig it so that. I mean, let me give you a good good oh, good close there, up. There we go. There we go. Yeah, get some fog on that camera there. Go ahead. There we go. <laughs> let, me, let me just watch the lens there. There we go. <laughs> Evie Fun says that's enough. Evie Fun says that's enough. There we go. 
But yeah, so you got the hair moving, and uh, the hair the hair has physics applied to it, right? Yeah, I didn't rig it myself though. Gotcha. I uh, I rigged my character myself, but as you can see, um, that was not hard to do because <laughs> I just got a mustache. yeah. You're very simple, but that's right. I'm that... not gonna diss on the simplicity. It's wonderful. Thank you, thank you. It took me probably a week just to get the mustache to move. Which is yeah, it's very very difficult, very difficult. Thank you. I respect I, I remember... people who rig avatars so fucking much. Yeah, I, I can I see your avatar, and I'm like, because I, I know a little bit of the process, and I see all of the work that you know um, whoever did it, they put a lot of work into it. Squid is mentioning uh, right now, uh, 2D VTubers are kind of crazy once you know how the technical end of it works. Uh, like the PSD for their character is a hundred and twenty layers after being crunched down and exported and then the rigger has to take yeah. all of those layers and then rig it and make it look like a 3d movement that is crazy that is, right. that is a lot of layers i think i think i have let's see i have probably five five layers sort of uh -huh. it's easy to that, yeah. keep those layers in my head the eyebrows i'm pretty proud of Right there, right there. But your model is. Do you know how many layers your model has? Did you keep track? I can. I can open it. I didn't oh, okay. crunch it down because that was my first model, so I didn't okay. like crunch down layers because I was kind of stupid. I think the chat is is mentioning that Anthem I... did all the rigging. Mm, yeah, Anthem. That's my uh, oh, that's my rigger. That's my model nice. with all the layers on crunch has a hundred thirteen layers. 113 layers very 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 close to the 120 i wonder what the most amount of layers a, a, a vtuber can get is there a limit i don't clearly, think there's a limit no clearly i have not reached my limit i'm kind of scratching the surface here i'm working on a new one working that on one is one. at that one's at uh 115 layers <laughs> and 315 oh. layers 315 layers yes dang well, that's a lot of movement. Yeah, when's the new one coming that's... out? You'd be fun as mentioning. When's the new one coming out? Making live 2D mo models has been extremely mo uh, extreme, extremely draining to me. Really? So it's, I've taken my time. Gotcha. So no, no, uh, no announcement, no release date just yet. No, I'll make sure to yell about it when it's there. Can you mention like exactly maybe what you might change? Well, I've got a uh, much different design for uh, the next one. Okay. Uh, so, oh, actually, actually, you the 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 PNG I sent you for like the promo stuff has my new design. If you like, want to pull that up. The PNG. Uh, the, the the. Okay, the first like the first the thing I you sent me. Yeah, the first thing you sent me for like the promo. Okay, so with the with the with the uh, little skirt and the converses, or is that wrong? Is that am I am I assuming wrong? The skirt. Is it, I think it's a skirt. I don't, I don't wear a skirt. It's, it's hard. I oh no, I, I, they're really short shorts. Okay, sorry. Your hands are covering. Yeah, they're short shorts. The seam in the middle. So. Oh, sorry. There okay, is sorry. There's supposed to be music. I totally forgot to put it back on when the video was played. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, Squid's asking if, if she can share uh, my rigor's Twitter. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Is there a way to do that? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Squid can get it. Can get it. There we go. Please follow them. They're fucking great. They're also oh, yeah. just fun to talk to, the friend shape. So, yeah, they did uh, yours and bees and uh, Squid's. And also they're, squid, yeah. they're all high quality stuff. Uh, I remember seeing seeing uh, yeah. bees in particular was sort of the inspiration for like why I did. I was like, oh, two D, that looks really cool and really like you know authentic. <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, if you want live two D art and need it rigged, Anthem's work is god dang incredible. Yeah, they work slow, but it's like oh, it takes time. Fucking worth it. Oh yeah, I can tell. I can tell. It takes time. Um, so yeah, we've we've been mentioning like this whole time how much of a Sonic fan you are, right? Yes. So how yes. did how did you get into Sonic? Like, what was the first Sonic game you ever played? Well, one of those days, 
uh, my mom came home with a copy of Sonic Riders for the GameCube, and she went, here, here, you have the game. I don't remember the context of how I got the game, I just assumed that's how it went. Okay. So at that time, I didn't know English. Alright. And that game is very technical. It's very technical, you so said? So for many... Yeah, it's a very technical racer, so for okay. many, many, many years... And I did not know how the fuck you were supposed to play that game, but so, I had such a good time playing you, it. So wait, the game was in English? And you didn't understand English at the time? Yeah, I'm French speaking, so like oh. I only knew French at the time. Do they does the Sonic not have like a French like no. version of their game? Interesting. Back then it was hard to get like French localizations for things. Gotcha. So I, I can imagine you just like not understanding the context, but just seeing this blue hedgehog on a hoverboard. Just speaking of, oh, like, yeah, that that you, I was like, dude, that's fucking sick. <laughs> without e even knowing what they were saying. Yeah, I had no fucking clue what the fuck was happening. Mm -hmm. All I knew was this this blue bastard was my hero now. So, but it's interesting how you got into this character from like essentially a spin-off like you know sonic is known oh, yeah. as, a, as a platformer and you played this uh basically a skateboard version of sonic yeah a hoverboard version a hoverboard yeah so then like from there did you like try to find more sonic games and were you disappointed that they weren't all hoverboard based i mean who wouldn't be disappointed when there's a lack of hoverboards oh yeah for sure you know call of duty needs hoverboards but that's my that's yeah, of course. personal and correct opinion. Yes. Uh, good also, question. Good. Has something very interesting in the chat. Uh, a good question. Is there a best Sonic games tier list or something? Uh, so we're not doing the tier list today. We're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, but if you, yeah. do, do you, if you want to really quickly sort of like rate like the top 10 Sonic games that you have. Top, uh, top, top uh, number one all time Sonic Adventure 1. Sonic Adventure 1, okay. Very, very fucking good. Second place, I'd give it to Sonic Mania. Third place, Sonic Generations. Pretty, It's a pretty fun okay. one. The Generations was the fan game that used the... Like, no, Generations is the the not a fan game. That's the official game. Oh, okay. So, I, sorry, what was the fan game one that was um, that was released? It was, it had a, it was like a remix of the first two games. Wasn't that Mania? A mania, mania is a, just a look back at all the games. Gotcha. All the okay. classic games. Okay. I know very little about this whole Sonic thing. I just know he's a blue hedgehog that goes Psss. That's That's all I know. He also likes chili dogs, so. Yeah. So then, so, so then, uh, the, what about the fourth game? Like, are those just your top three Sonic games of all time? Like, why, why exactly? Yeah, I can only name three of them. Okay. Why exactly do you gravitate th towards those? those games in particular. Adventure was a good fucking platformer. Adventure? I will I will die I will die on that hill. Adventure one is the best Sonic platformer. Okay. Gotcha. And that's not the one that has you starting from a plane and skateboarding or snowboarding down a street and No, that's the, the that's cars. Adventure Two. Gotcha. With the with that's the that, more with specifically the stage city escape. Gotcha. How come you don't think that Sonic Adventure 2 was an improvement on Sonic Adventure 1? The uh, stage, the stages are a lot more uh, linear. They're less, uh, there's less like alternate paths. It's okay. a lot more constricted. The Sonic has a lot of pointless moves that don't do much. Gotcha. Like Adventure 1 had like the perfect move set. Okay, gotcha. Which was um, spin dash. Run. Okay. That's it. Simple. Simple and elegant. Yeah, the only thing I changed about Adventure 1 is the fact that you can't just, like, roll hmm. without spin dashing. Gotcha. That's all I'd change. Like, Adventure 2, it also, like, forces you to play the other characters and makes it, like, very difficult to get used to them. Gotcha. I know the uh, that Game Grumps are currently playing like Sonic Heroes. Do you like Sonic Heroes, where you get to play as all the different types of characters? I never, I never really played. I never really played Sonic Heroes. Gotcha. Well, my copy. I had a copy as a kid, and the disc got scratched before I got to play it. Ah, oh. and I know that Duper played a what was it like a randomized Sonic game? 
it was like yeah so random it's not like i've to randomized were you ever thinking about playing that for your stream god no i don't like adventure 2 whatsoever gotcha okay so it's like a mod of of adventure 2 even if it was yeah, randomized correct. you would not uh you would not be a fan of yeah, I don't. I think like the only stage I enjoy is City Escape from that game, which is okay. the first one. So that's kind of sad. Oh, so then it all goes downhill after that level. No, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was for a Sonic more like goes uphill. Gotcha. So well, now that we're on the topic of Sonic, uh, we're not going to do a tier list today. But that was just a short little like top three Sonic games. But what we are going to do is we're going to do something a little bit more dangerous, a little bit more daring, something that might. Something that might make you, uh, make people make fun of you for the rest of your life if you get it wrong. Are you prepared for this? Yes. All right. I'm confident in my knowledge of the Sonic series. Well, then we'll lead right into the Sonic Quiz. Sonic the Hedgehog, the quiz. All right. So, uh, I have here two Sonic tests, okay? And I also have very special music uh, lined up here. One second. Um, some of you might recognize it. Let me go ahead and... Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where is it? Hold on. Let me just... I gotta Google it now. Here we go. Perfect. If you've seen Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, this music will be very familiar to you. But anyway, we're gonna start right away. Is, is the volume good? Is it too loud? It might be a little bit too loud. Okay. No idea. Okay, I know you can't hear it. I'm sorry about that. But uh, it's really uh, he says kind of loud. Yeah, we go. Kind of loud. It's very intense, though. It's very intense. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the quiz right here. So we have two quizzes. We have a very, very easy quiz. It's sort of like a, like a, like a warm up, I would say. And then we have a hard quiz. All right. So you ready for that? Let's fucking go. Oh, Let's go. Okay. So first question. First question. Yes. All right. The first Sonic game was released in what year? Oh, I... fuck. I'm, I have no perception of time. So, I'll give you the options here. You have 1990, 1991, 1992, or 1993. 1991 feels correct. 1991? Is that your final answer? Yes, I have no perception of time, so... Yeah. Well, your perception of time is correct. It is 1991. Congratulations. I had a few of those, right? Awesome. All right. Next, Hell yeah. Next question. We're going to do this for the, every single question. It, that is how it works. All right. So Sonic the Hedgehog's main rival, Dr. Robotnik, was later given the nickname Dr. Blank. There are no multiple Eggman. choice answers. Uh, oh. Well, um, that wasn't the nickname actually. That was the local. The, that was the uh, American localization calling him Robotnik. Well, that is also correct. Didn't even get to finish it. You, you even corrected the question itself. That's impressive. Yes. So the questions are yes, easy. Yes, this is definitely the easy mode. Yeah. So we're doing uh, ten questions that are easy, just as a warm up, and then they'll get harder. I promise. I promise they'll get harder. All right. Yeah, I have, yeah, Squid is correct. I do have this guy cool, yeah, so, like, number questions are going to be very difficult. Gotcha. So, uh, if you need a little bit more hints on that, just let me know, okay? Yeah. Okay, so, next question. Which of the following characters is involved in aviation? Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, or Amy? Can I, is this a multiple answer? Yes, so, the... Exactly. Sonic so, and Tail. So it's just one character it's involved in aviation. No, just, just no it's, uh, the question is, the answers are wrong. There is two characters involved in aviation. The tornado is owned by Sonic and later given to Tails. Really? Okay. Yeah, Sonic owns the tornado. Well, if you, you so you said Sonic and Tails, which uh, the answer is officially Tails, so you are correct no matter what. But again, you corrected the question itself, so... <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, so it's not a very known thing that the tornado is owned by Sonic. Gotcha. Okay. That's his plane. Gotcha. So we have That's why it says the... Sonic on the side. We want the next question. Question number four. Let's go. All right. 
Usually the main objective in the Sonic games is to prevent Dr. Robotnik from obtaining the world domi- sorry, obtaining world domination by utilizing the Chaos Blank. Emeralds? Okay, yep. That is correct. Congratulations. There are seven of them. I think that might be a question later. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Duper is actually here right now. I think Duper say hi. Huh? Fuck off. Oh. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Doop. I love you. Yeah, you too, buddy. All right. That was a that was Duper's little cameo. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we'll move on to the next nice. question. We're gonna get through these easy ones pretty quickly. So, next one. Uh, the character Tails has a real name. What is it? Miles. His name is Miles Prower. That is correct. Because it's Miles Prower. My, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's uh, Duper's little girl, Lily. She oh, fuck yeah. Oh, that's no good. She had a little boo-boo, it sounds like. Uh -huh. Everyone say everyone boo -boo. say sorry to Lily's. F in the chat for Lily. F in the chat for Lily. L in the chat for Lily. All right. We're good, we're good. Thank you, Eevee Fun. Uh, so next question. Sonic is blue. What color are his friends? All right. This one, this one's really. Tricky. Tails is Tails is orange. Knuckles is red. Amy is at pink. Uh, Big the cat is purple. Uh, who else? Uh, Jed the hawk is green. I've, I'm gonna stop you right there is... because it literally only he has a lot of friends. <laughs> he does. He has a lot of friends. So congratulations, you got that one correct as well. You're at 100 percent so far. We got three more questions for the easy test. I'm not All surprised. Right. All right. So next Let's one. Let's go. Okay. Next one. According to many television series of Sonic, which of the following is his favorite food? Chili dogs. Yeah, and we're gonna move on from that one right away because that was pretty, pretty easy. I mean, even I do now. Yeah, everyone knows that. Gotcha. Uh, these questions are literally questions for people who played a Sonic game once. You are correct, and that's why I got most of these correct yeah. when I was testing out the the test myself. Um, so next question. All right. It has also been established. In television, in the television series, that Sonic has, huh? Okay, so this, I'm going to give you the multiple choices for this one. This one's a little, a little tricky. Uh, arachnophobia, pyrophobia, claustrophobia, or hydrophobia? Hydrophobia. He can't swim. That makes a lot of sense, and that is correct because I do remember that uh, when you're underwater, it's very, very, very stressful. Which plays uh, uh, actually that's that's a funny thing about uh, about Sonic in the really? Olympic Games he's often like put into a life jacket for the swimming events. Oh, so it's it's really keeping along with that character there. He 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 needs to. He needs <laughs> yeah, help it's swimming. funny. Gotcha. He he, ha he he also in the Tokyo twenty twenty one he also has like dog paddle animation for really? swimming. Oh, he can <laughs> run super silly. fast, but swimming is where. He needs to improve on. I see. Yeah, why would he ever learn how to swim when he can run on the water? That is true. He can run on water. I've seen it. I've seen it done. I've seen it happen. Yeah. All right. I next, next extra. Nextra. Sorry. E next question. All right. Sometimes various media states that Sonic lives on another planet besides Earth. What is it? Mobius. And that is correct. Congratulations. That you is wanna, not canon, though. Do, do you want to uh, know what I put down as an answer? Oh, God, what did you put down? I put down Green Zone. Because, you know, the planet Green Zone. Everyone knows about that planet. Oh, God. Yeah. Actually, Green Hill, Green Hill is on South Island. Yeah, I thought that was its own planet. I thought that's what it was asking. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. So um, I don't know why it's asking this next question, but we're going to ask it anyway, just just in case it uh, tricks you up. How many eyes okay. does Sonic have? Two? Wow, what? that was so... I don't know how you went through that. One. That was the most difficult question of the world. So uh, <laughs> as a final question, I don't know. They really, challenged, they really challenged you there. So that's 10 out of 10. 
10 out of 10 for the wow. easy. Wow. Yeah. That was difficult. That was... I, I, I wasn't sure if my Sonic knowledge was correct anymore. It made me question <laughs> things. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, that was obviously just a warm-up because we got plenty more to yeah. go. All right. We got a, we got I am a very much warmed up. hard one here. This one I could I I did so bad in. So are you ready? Yes. Okay. First question. What color are the centers of the sunflowers in Green Hill Zone? Pink. I'm sorry? What, what was that? Pink. I think they're pink. The colors of the sunflowers in Green Hill Zone. Is that your final answer? I'm, I'm like 90% sure they're, they're like pink. They're like a weird color that isn't like natural. Well, unfortunately... That is not the correct answer. According to this quiz, they are green. What? The centers of the sunflowers oh, are right. green. Right. Yeah, I remember that. Gotcha. They, they're they... pink at the end of the game. Ah, so yeah. When you yeah. Come, when you when you come back to Green Hill with like the, all the chaos emeralds and all the flickies, they're, they're, they're pink. Gotcha. I, yeah, this does not specify uh, whether it's the beginning of the game or the end of the game. So you're still yeah, correct. I'm still right. Te you I'm are... still right. Technically, at the end of the game, it's pink. Gotcha. Well, we'll give you that one because you're. We'll give you that one on technicality. The question itself was not specific. Uh, specific. All right. It's just so. more notable to me that they're pink at the end of the game. I guess. Gotcha. So next one. Next one. What is Robotnik's weapon in Green Hill Zone? A wrecking ball. Is that your final answer? I remember that being the first ever uh, boss fight. Yeah. Well. That's a. Uh... Wrecking ball. You are correct. It is a giant ch yeah. uh, checked ball. That's what it is. A giant checker ball, yes. Yeah, check ball. You, you said wrecking ball, but I'm going to give that to you because I believe that's pretty pretty close. I mean, it's a wrecking ball. Yeah, it is. I don't know why it's. You look at it. Check. Yeah, it's, it wrecks things. It wrecks. Next yeah. question What bad nicks do you find in Marble Zone? I don't know the bad, nick bad nicknames too well. Fuck. Uh, what bad nicks do you find? Marble in Zone. Marble Zone. Do you want me to give you the uh, the, the multiple uh, choice? Yeah, please. Okay, so we got the first one. Buzz Zombers. I'm sorry. <laughs> you pronounced that wrong. Buzz Bombers. Buzz Bombers, Moto Bugs, and Bat Brains. Okay. The next uh, one I know is... Bat Brains. Bat Brains are in the cave section. So, okay. So that's the first one. The next one is Buzz Bombers, Moto Bugs, and Crab Meats. Uh, I think next, crab meat is there. The next one is Buzz Bombers, Cater Killers, and Moto Bugs. Yeah, Cater Killers are there. And then this final one is Buzz Bombers, Cater Killers, and Bat Brains. Mm. A, B, or C? Or D? There's a D in there. It's a fourth answer, yes. Buzz is, 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 there. There's the... Caterkillers and the bat one. So the one that says Caterkillers and bat brains? Because they all say Buzz yeah. Bombers. Is that your final answer? I don't remember Buzz Bombers being there. It I don't doesn't. remember them being there. Is your there. final answer? Yeah. Go with Buzz Bombers, Caterkillers, and bat brains. Uh, well, I mean, I mean Bad that brains would, and cat are killers. That would that would be correct anyway. So congratulations, that is good right there. Hey. Good, good. Got you, it. You nailed it. Next one. What colors are the pillars inside the castle in Marble Zone? What colors are the pillars inside the castle in Marble Zone? They're like an off purple. You want me to give you the answers real quick? Yeah, sure. So first one is red and blue. Next one is green and blue. The next one is green and purple. The next one is purple and blue. Marble zone, right? Yeah, what colors are the pillars inside the castle? It's a blue and purple? Blue and purple? Is that your final Yeah, you use purple as a shading color, I think. Sounds correct. Unfortunately, that is not what the quiz says. It says green and blue for the pillars inside castle in marble zone. I have to look at that. Gotta look it up. I, I mean, I would trust you more than this quiz at the moment. I, I 
I kind of wish that I sort of looked this up first. Uh, my good old dyslexia, I put in maple zone instead of marble zone. <laughs> maple oh, yeah, zone. They, are, they are green. Green and blue? Yeah, it's the floor that's purple. That's why, that's why it was gotcha. wrong. Gotcha. You had, you had purple in your brain for sure. Yeah, it was, I was nearly there. Gotcha. Well, unfortunately, that was like your first wrong answer, but you made it pretty far. We're going to keep on going, though. So that's one out of, and I think this quiz is 15 questions. Yep, so, so I'm far. I'm ready. Gotcha. Next question. What background does Spring Yard Zone have? Is it bushes, buildings, and mountains? Is it bushes, a carnival, and mountains? Is it a carnival and mountains? Or buildings and mountains? Uh, it's the one with the carnival, I think. For Spring Yard Zone. Yeah. Is that your final offer? You can also phone a friend. That's how it works. You can you can ask the chat or call a buddy. I can't trust the chat to not have looked it up and just <laughs> give me the answer. Well, I mean, they would never do that. I mean, they would never, ever ever do that. No, I will I will rely purely on my knowledge. I'm okay. pretty sure it's either a city of or the uh, carnival. City? You, I'm, I'm guessing buildings? You mean buildings? Yeah, the, the the one with the city. So, either bushes, buildings, and mountains, or bushes, carnival, and mountains. You're going to have to make a choice. So the first one... That, what was that, the first one? Bushes, buildings, and mountains. Or bushes, a carnival, and mountains. Uh, I'm still going to carnival. Going to carnival? Yeah. Unfortunately, that is not correct. It is bushes, buildings, and mountains. You were saying city. Okay. Yeah, so we were getting there. You were getting real more, close. More like a cityscape of sorts. Like, yeah. kind of bright. Made me think, like, carnival, I guess. Gotcha. Mm. I gotcha. Right, I remember <laughs> there's, like, signs everywhere. Are you looking up right now? These questions are weirdly specific. So yeah, I'm they just, are. Like, I guess that's why they're considered hard. I can, I can get it. All right, next question. What animals do you free when you defeat a badnik in Spring Yard Zone? Jesus, these questions are like for <laughs> data miners. Data miners? So, hold on, let's see. What animals do you free when you defeat a badnik in Spring Yard Zone? Is it rabbits? What's the... I'm sorry? What's the answer is here, what? Okay, rabbits and chickens squirrels and seals pigs and chickens rabbits and flickies i'm gonna phone easy because they seem to like remember okay hey what's up easy is often just like my big brain person in chat big brain person your big brains for some reason they just like answer everything mm -hmm. Evie, can you help out Minty Cups here about what animals do you free? Yeah, bunny sounds right. I'm gonna go with the bunny. Bunnies? Yeah. So ra is, there's no bunnies in the answer. There's rabbits. Rabbits and chickens. R rabbit. Rabbit, bunnies. The same thing, really. Mm, so is it rabbits and chickens or rabbits and bunnies? Or sorry, rabbits and flickies. Ah... Rabbits and what? Rabbits and chickens or rabbits and flickies? I'm gonna go with the chicken. You're gonna go with the chickens? Yeah. Unfortunately, that is also not correct. It is pigs and chickens. So you get the chickens honestly, part correct. Honestly, I can't really blame myself with these questions because that's not what I like. You definitely don't pay attention to the, the animals and stuff like that in the background when you're playing the game. Yeah, don't pay attention to like the backgrounds or like gotcha. the little uh, pixels in the game. I mm -hmm. pay attention to more the story elements and more. Right, right. I guess that's why they consider this a very hard quiz. 
Do you want to keep yeah, going? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, sure. I'll, we'll see if I if I, my knowledge of the fucking Sonic levels are correct. I guess. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. What scenery, except the blocks, etc., do you find in Labyrinth Zone? You either have green vines, or red crystals, green crystals, and green vines, or pink crystals and blue crystals, or pink crystals, blue crystals, and green vines. What's the stage? Labyrinth Zone. What scenery do you and find? And what's the question? What's what scenery do you find in, in there? Yes. It definitely has vines. Okay. Oh no, Labyrinth Zone. That's the that's that's the that's the water vines? one. Yeah, What's... Labyrinth Zone. That's a that's a water level. Mm -hmm. It has a bunch of the bird faces everywhere. Give me the answers again. So we have green vines, or green vine? red crystals, green crystals, and green vines, or pink crystals and blue crystals, or pink crystals and blue crystals and green vines. If you want, I can knock out two of the answers. Please do. Because right. that's making me hard to keep the words in my head at once. Um, so I'll give you two of the possible answers. You have pink crystals, blue crystals, and green vines. Or red crystals, green crystals, and green vines. That one. That red one. crystals and green crystals? I do not remember any vines whatsoever in that friend zone. So they they both have green vines. Uh, I don't. I oh, they both have. They both have. The both answers have green vines. One has pink crystals oh, and blue crystals. The other one is red and green. Labyrinth zone. Correct. Go over the first one, yeah. The pink crystals and blue crystals. Yeah. That is correct. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. There we go. I remembered something stupidly specific <laughs> about a game. It's getting a, it's getting a little tough, it, ain't it? Getting a little, 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 little up there. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, we got a good one right here. All right. Next. Question. Right, labyrinth zone sucks. When do you drown in labyrinth zone? Is it water? What? So the, here, here are the answers. After being submerged for forty-five seconds. After being oh, submerged geez. for 30 seconds, never, or after being submerged for one minute. I know the timer only appears when there's like 10 seconds left, right? I think it's five. Right. So what is the actual amount of time that it gives you underwater in Labyrinth Zone? Is it 30 seconds, maybe? 30 seconds? Is that your final answer? What's the other answers? Uh, 45 seconds, one minute, or never. I I, yeah, I go 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Congratulations! Game game that design. is hey. correct! There you go! Yeah, I thought about it like game design wise, 30 seconds is a good nice, amount of time. Yeah, nice round number. There we go. Next question. We are on question number nine. What color are the oval lights in the ground in Starlight Zone? What? What color <laughs> are the oval lights in the ground in Starlight Zone? I haven't oval even light. gotten that level ever. Jeez, what? So we have white, red, blue, or yellow. I want to say white. Do you want me to knock down two of the answers for you? I'm guessing that was the wrong answer. You being kind to me. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I kind of, <laughs> I kind of want to steer you in the right direction here. And if it's not white, it's probably wacky color. Like, uh, what's the other colors? So I'll, I'll break it down to two. It's either red or blue. The oval lights in the ground in Starlight Zone. It's probably blue. Is that your final offer or final answer? Yes, I never, I never played that level anyway. Okay, it is unfortunately red. So it would have been 50-50 yeah, on sense. that one. All right, next one. We're gonna go to the next one. What objects 
do you see only in Act 3 of Starlight Zone? What objects do you see only in Act 3 of Starlight Zone? You either see oh, a fuck. giant swinging half-pike ball, fans, a breakable wall, or a horizontally moving platform. I can't I've never play that level. I'm going to phone an Eevee? Phone an Eevee? All right, Eevee, we need your help. What objects do you see only in Act 3 of Starlight Zone? Come on, Evie, you're my big brain. A giant swinging half-pike ball? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I'm going to go with the pike ball, I guess. You're going to go with the pike ball? Yeah, that makes sense for Sonic. And that would be correct. Hey! All right. Um, that's actually all the questions right there. <laughs> So that was really... How about it you in that second one? I'm sorry? Oh, yeah, that, that one was How... really, really specific. Like, How about they do? Like, you just needed to know, like, the art and everything on that one. That was crazy. All right. Well, yeah, uh, I know the story mo more than anything. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if there was, like, a lore question. I looked for a whole bunch of them, and there was a lot of quizzes that, like, required you to, like, you know... The like subscribe or pay or something something dumb like that so. yeah for, for some weird reason nobody cares about the lore of sonic and everyone assumes there's no story to the classic games when there is oh yeah oh yeah for sure I, I i know that the movie kind of um went away with the lore in terms of just like made it simplify oh actually the movie the sonic movie was actually pretty accurate oh was it in a weird way oh ah. Okay. Yes, when when Sonic when Sonic runs around Green Hill, you can actually see bits of uh, Labyrinth Zone being uh, hinted at. Oh, okay. And I Labyrinth see. Zone features many bird head statues, okay. and it's a uh, design. Gotcha. And what what's a uh, what's Long Claw? So that's a long, giant bird. Okay, gotcha. So that you were definitely it just kind of were... connects it in a weird way. So you're not disappointed from the movie at all. Oh, not at all. Even gotcha. the giant portal rings, that's just correct for Sonic, because nice. that's how they get to special stages. Gotcha. All right. Well, uh, sorry that I, I kind of threw a real big curveball to you on that that, uh, that hard quiz. Oh, there. that's fine. I mean, now you're just going to have fine. to go back and play those games and just, like, stare at the background <laughs> the whole time. I mean, the background of Sonic are beautiful. I agree. I agree. Well, uh, that's pretty much it that we all uh, have for today. Um, thank you so much for joining us, Minty Cups. It was really lovely to have you on here and showing off your art and telling us about Sonic and stuff. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, exactly what Squid said. Basically, the Sonic movie connects the 16 bits of correct lore in a really weird and correct way to make its own story. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, so Sonic I, movie I, is wonderful. I, uh, I again, not a huge fan of Sonic, but I saw the movie and I was pleasantly surprised that it, uh, it did not really disappoint. It was really fun. Oh yeah, it's a good movie. All right. Well, Evie, gonna... these shows are not long. I'm sorry. Evie's more used to people who stream for like eight hours at a time. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, this is definitely uh, not a super long term type of thing, unfortunately. Well, uh, I hope you had fun on the show. Yeah, it was so great. Much. Thank you so much for Thank joining. you so much for having me. No, it was lovely. It was really great. It was uh, really fun to have you here. Completely different vibe. Very, very cutesy, good vibe we had today. And uh, thank yeah. you all so much for joining by. And uh, is there someone that you want to uh, raid today? Uh, let me see my f who and my friends are up. Um, Evie, I will disagree with that, and I will say, Captain Coco Charms. Captain Coco Charms, can you go ahead and send me the yeah. the, the text? Is it is it? Raised I will send you directly their Twitch for you. Because I know they just recently made a comeback to Twitch, and. Let's see. Yeah, do I, like, do I type in they were they were they had like some health problems for a while. Slash, sorry, raid slash Coco Charms. Uh, Captain Coco. Captain Charms. Coco Charms, like C A P N, Captain Coco Charms. 
There, there, well, there you go. There whoops. you go. That's not how it works. How do, I, <laughs> how, do I, how do I get this raid to work? I was told like twice and I don't remember. You, you do raid first. You do raid? the slash first. Oh, the slash first. Slash, slash, raid. slash raid first and there then the go. space. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, apparently, Captain Coco Charms or Matt is why Squid started streaming and they made a comeback to Twitch recently. I'm like, okay. fuck yeah. I'm like, glad for that. Perfect. Well, then we're going to go ahead and raid them right now. Yeah, wish them a good comeback. Came safely, but his name was freaking Car Accident. I can't get over that. Oh my gosh.